Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. All right, we have a little bit of news here on this busy, 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 busy day for the Dallas Cowboys, okay? Um, right now, none of the players that we waived – None of the cuts, none of the guys that we waived were picked up by any other or were claimed by any other team, thus making them all eligible to return for the practice squad. Uh, the Cowboys, of course, like most teams, played, played different games um, to try and make sure that players that there were most valuable were on the 53-man roster and thus not available to other teams. You end up putting other guys out there that you figure teams aren't going to try and get um, and some of them veterans that you can't because you have to worry about a Cooper Rush clearing waivers. Um, you do that so that way you get the guys that you want. Interesting take here with the Dallas Cowboys. You can say what you want about Stephen Jones, and we say a lot. We say a lot. Stephen Jones is true to form when he says we believe in our own players. Of the 53 players on the, the roster yesterday, 49 of them were players that they either found as undrafted rookie free agents or players that they drafted and developed. They truly believe in their players. And evidently, that's what they believe as far as their offense goes because they've done nothing to do with the offense. I have something I want to talk about um, later. I want to get my thoughts together about what is going on with this offense? The Cowboys have taken care of the defense. They have completely rebuilt it. And now the offense seems like it's the redheaded stepchild. And I think I understand why that is right now, why they're doing what they're doing. But at the moment, we have not heard about the Cowboys putting any claims in for any other players. Now, there was Chuma Agato. Chuma, I can't remember his name. Help me out here. But the New York Jets offensive tackle, um, um, that we were supposedly in talks for trades with actually got released yesterday and um, apparently is now been claimed by Atlanta. So the funny thing is, is we hear about so many players, you know, we heard that things were heating up for Jalen Rager and stuff, and he ended up being re-signed by his team. Um, people thought that we would look for uh, Alex Leatherwood uh, as a trade. He ended up getting cut. We'll see if the Cowboys actually put in a claim for him. Um, after clearing waivers, running back Malik Davis plans to sign back with the Cowboys practice squad. That is just breaking right at this moment. Uh, Cowboys uh, are re-signing uh, uh, Brandon Smith to the practice squad right now. That's the first two shoes to drop. We'll definitely be following along um, as the time goes on. Again, we do not know if the Cowboys put any claims in for any other players. Um, so, yeah. So, Chuma uh, Igoda is signed by... Uh, uh, the Falcons. So that's where we are. And we'll start getting the full list <clears throat> of all the players. Um, I intended to actually do a, a live stream here, but it's kind of a funky time and I don't know how quickly everything's going to come in, but I'm, I'm assuming it'll be fast because the team, uh, wants to have those guys back in place for practice today. All right. Peace out.